Um, it's been a little bit since we've actually done a video, and by we, I mean me, and making Gray's fucking hold the camera. But we're out here in Vegas. It's about fucking 72 degrees today. Um, behind us. Come on, you gotta do the shooter ready. Stand by. Uh, <laughs> Um, yeah, so behind us, a couple of the dudes are getting some pistol stuff done, getting pistol training and some repetitive drills in because next week are, we are shooting a pistol class and I'll, I'll film some stuff then, but, uh, at my ear pro is, there we go. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to be talking today about the M9A4, mostly just Langdon Tactical, uh, the pistol that I am shooting right now, uh. I haven't really talked about it in the past. I said I was going to. And I don't really talk about pistols on this on this fucking thing. So <clears throat> this is the M9A4. This is a Langdon Tactical. I made 25 of these with Superior Defense. Um, I made 25 of these. I'm also not editing this shit out. This is my favorite thing about this is that this Surefire, I need a B type, not the A type because it rattles like a motherfucker. And then, uh, let's see, SRO and then the Parker Mountain Machine. Single cop on here, single single port brake on this thing. It's actually fucking really good. This thing's super fucking smooth. The reset on this, Granger knows, the reset on this is... So... Oh, and I have a magwell on it. Other than that, I haven't really done anything to it. I just put a bunch of rounds through it, put it in a holster, shoot it. Oh, uh, I do have, I forget what company this is, but I do like these uh, base bats. So, yeah. <laughs> Don't do this. Don't waste your time putting stickers on this shit. Just put a fucking new one up. So your first one's in, your second one is all a full inch? Yeah, a little bit low. Are you doing the coffee cup thing? The what? You know about that? Uh-uh. Yeah, so like your first one I wanna say I want to say it's air marshals or some shit like that, but they do a test that they fucking take a, at the back end of a coffee mug or the front coffee mug and you draw a circle around it, right? Use that as your base. You have to be able to shoot. That's about the size of this lens. Uh, you have to be able to fucking hit, make all hits in that. So it's a little bit harder than a alpha, but I think that's what they're shooting. So we're going to shoot, what is this, 10 yards? Ish. We're going to shoot 10-ish yards. And we're gonna shoot these two, we're gonna, half of these mags, where the fuck is in there, we're gonna put a couple of rounds down, and there we go. Ooh, flinch, you see that? Okay, let's look. I thought I had that reset out, but I didn't. But here you go. It's gonna all be on target. <laughs> Drop the couple once I got my cadence up. I promise I'm not the best, but not the worst shooter, but at least I can fucking stay. I'm at least an A-zone shooter, so that's right. We'll get this next fucking, what is this? 12 rounds, 10 rounds, something. We'll get this on this target right here. Again, this is the SRO on this thing. I do like this pistol. Um, it is zeroed. This is a decocker version, so... Ooh. Damn. Not even a full 10 rounds, but I did drop some. At least my grouping is not terrible. Also, just so just so I can clarify and Drake is laughing, I don't shoot this a lot. I started shooting this, put it in rotation because my DVCP needs to be cleaned terribly. Um, and I did find another DVCP, brand new one, fired. I'm trying to fucking cop that, but that's where we're at. So that's the last fucking magazine right here. You can see this. Here's the first magazine. Obviously, this had less mags, less rounds in the mag. Not mad about it. Again, 
This is a Langdon Tactical M94. I have a weird, really weird Beretta fucking obsession, especially M9s. Um, I don't hate it. This is probably one of my favorite pistols that is in the 2011. So and I know it's really, really popping right now for everyone to be into 2011s. So switch it up. <laughs> Get an M9. Four Knox Podcast.